Well, this is the view I've got on a very cold and windy, rough March day in the middle of Venice. I'm looking across the water past these gondolas and the first thing to do is just mark in the composition. I'm working on a, a panel which already has a warm ground on it so just put this very light grey on, warm grey to, to mark the position of the horizon, the eye line and the sky to create the silhouette of the buildings opposite and now just putting in the position of these gondolas in the foreground and that basically describes the picture as much as I need to know composition wise and crucially it's how much sky versus how much space of the sea where the gondolas are and I've chosen I guess just over a third of the way up to put that horizon line just where I'm putting this um, warm light green now to mark the position of the sea which make a great foreground movement. And play against the shapes of the gondolas to uh, create a very nice sort of feeling to look through from the foreground. The focus and the subject, of course, is the basilica on the other side of the water and the column, not the <laughs> gondolas. <laughs> and I'm painting this over lunchtime, so lunch is um, with a paintbrush in the hand. Now I'll start to just try and um, get some relationship between the colours in those buildings over the other side of the water, the sky and the sea, the relationship between all of those. So I'm cooling down the sky a little bit as you can see there and just trying to get the relationship of those colours of the walls of those buildings opposite. They're white walls but of course they don't show up as white in this light they're very greyed down. And the whole thing is obviously to get this very wintry atmosphere. It's no good painting it all pretty and bright colours as if it was some sort of nice little summery scene, which it's totally not. Got to get the feeling of the wind and the coldness and the movement of these gondolas bouncing around in the foreground against the majestic stillness of the basilica across the water there. I've started adding some detail now and mainly to, s to take your eye to the basilica across the water. I'm not interested in drawing your eye to the gondolas in the foreground and it's a mistake to overpaint those with too, m too many sharp edges and too perfectly. So there I've left those very rough to give the effect of them bouncing around in the water and I'm trying just to take your eye across the water 
and not too many windows and details but just a few there to to take your eye in to suggest what's going on over there and give it a, a sense of detail that's the final view and that's the final painting